Good morning everyone, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you like my videos, please smash that like button, please do subscribe. Alexa, what's the time please? The time is 9.39am. Right, so the whole purpose of this for the next uh, few weeks probably is to show you how stalking and harassment affects your mental health and your behaviour. So I've been stalked every single day. The police are doing nothing to help me. And it's horrible. It's really, really horrible. It makes me feel horrible. So we're cataloguing everything. This person has a sick sense of humour. There was a black female yesterday walking up and down the road in what looked like my pink beanie hat. I've just had a, a, a follower subscribe to my TikTok called Paul Halloween. The majority of this unwanted um, followers is coming from America, the USA. I've never been to the United States. Never. I haven't got a passport. So I don't know what the Americans have got. Why there's some American people are doing this bullying towards me. I know there's a Rochester in America, but this is Rochester in Chatham, Kent, Medway. United Kingdom. There is a Rochester in the United States. Hello, Paul Halloween. As far as I know, it's not Halloween yet. Perhaps you'd like it to be Halloween, Paul. Pasta's been picked up and they're gone. The pasta's gone. My dog nearly ate it yesterday. Rochester Railway Station. This just makes you feel awful. Cleaners haven't been yet because the Rainbow drops are still on the floor. 9.42. Just look like a normal, average, common or garden human being. Nothing sticks out. I just look normal. Just like an average, ordinary person walking down the street. I don't know what people's problem is. British police get in touch with the American police. <laughs> so I'm walking across where I normally live. There's a taxi up there because my mum's run. And I'm not seeing my mum today. I'm not going up in a taxi. <laughs> Manipulated. <laughs> See, 
said I'm not being manipulated with money. This is what my father's life was like. Tormenting. He was tormented. My mum used to go around with uh, wads of paper in her back pockets tied with elastic bands and she used to drop it in front of my dad. It's domestic violence as well. That's domestic violence. He said he was suffering from domestic violence. Mind you, I mean, he could talk. I've just, now my dad's passed away, you know, I think my mum's trying to replace my dad with me. That's what it feels like. Trying to replace my dad with me. It's a male cleaner that comes into our flat. going to be stopped from going on the field either. <laughs> Remember what messages I've had this morning. Hello pretty, hello beautiful, me. On the field much younger than me with an orange beanie hat on bright orange and there's someone up there with a tripod it's a tripod a camera Looks like he's got my dad's postman's jacket on. He's got a tripod up there. So the woman's got an orange beanie hat on. This guy's got an orange coat. <laughs> They match, don't they? <laughs> well, he's walked off across the field with this, with uh, another tripod. And we're leaving. Go this way. Remember, my mum has told me to have a good day, and my father Derek was supposed to have been a thief. So he's gone off towards the woman with the orange beanie hat. He's gone off, gone off the path. <laughs> Hello, pretty. Hello, beautiful. I don't know what this guy's doing. I don't want to get in the way of his fucking whatever he's doing. Same time. He's obviously taking photographs of uh, over there. So I've blocked him all and I will continue to block him all as well. Don't even look at him.
just going over there with it. He looks like he's got Charlie's black beanie hat on. dog is a spaniel one of my friend uh, uh, one of my friends uh, um, his name is called Steve he had a spaniel that died of cancer I've got a coat on, I've got a cap, and I've got thick trousers on. I was called provocative by somebody. <laughs> I was called notorious, provocative, the other woman, amongst other names. That was in their head, wasn't it? So that guy is dressed up, you know, uh, oh Charlie's turned into a builder, a workman. Dress up like the guy that attacked me on the field. It's cool that is, it's really cool. <laughs> No thank you. Remember what the stalker said? What can I do to make you love me? Not dress up like a fucking younger man when you're an old bloke. <laughs> no thanks. Sorry. <laughs> I'm still going to walk around this field and if he waves I'll just go the other way like if he comes back on the field again I'll walk past him I'm not interested I don't believe in witchcraft or bewitchment <laughs> trying to make himself look like a young man when they're an old bloke with no teeth <laughs> don't work with me once you get conned, guys, you don't get conned again. <laughs> and you want someone to share your, your life 50 50, you not pay for everything because they've got no money and they're just a lazy bum. <laughs> but you'll see, if he comes back on this field, guys, you'll see a different person. Because I will have the camera on and he can say it in front of his front of my face what he wants. <laughs> well on one of my videos you you can hear him say I love you. And that's what my mum keeps saying to me over the phone. <laughs> Stalking. No, I get it now. Why does she keep saying I love you? Because that's what Charlie says. <laughs> right, so that's the castle. That's the cathedral. I'm trying to enjoy my walk. Yeah, I, I'm not scared of him. He's a... He's a skinny... Uh, old man, but they can get violent, drunks can. <laughs> no, 
They might condition me. I don't want it. You can't make me. It's my body. It's my life. If I don't want someone, I don't want them. End of. It's exactly what they did with my father. <laughs> give a tramp a wallet. Give a tramp a nice car. And a homeless person, you know. And then sexually take advantage of the said person. Well, that's what they did to my dad. Gave him a wallet. Gave him bank cards. Gave him a £2,000 Alfa Romeo. And remember, I'd had my t children taken off me and I was homeless. And then you have to do... I start doing sexual favours. I don't fucking think so. <laughs> And all the ones off dating sites, give them a car, give them a bank card and some money, and then sexually abuse somebody. As the, as the lorry over there. I'm not giving in. I'm not getting anything. I think those shoes would look good on a midget. A skinny midget because I'm big and I intend to get bigger <laughs> Do you know pasta if you've got no not much food guys pasta right makes meals rice makes meals you've watched celebrity jungle get me out of here when they eat rice and beans well bring it on because <laughs> when the crisps run out and my mum's Maryland cookies run out and the money runs out that's what I'll be eating after 117 pounds of council tax comes out and takes half my benefit I still won't give in to their sexual bullying. Oh no. <laughs> Do you know, I, I bought a, a loaf of bread. When did I go out? Friday. So that lasted me Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I've got some left for today. I've got pasta, I've got tuna. And because my mum keeps bombarding me with crisps and cookies and sweets, I ain't going to start. <laughs> I've still got tubs of bloody candy floss all over the flat. <laughs> I ain't going to start. They're pathetic. I feel sick, you know. They want me to sleep with an old, smelly man that doesn't have a bath, with no teeth and no hair. And then when he tried to hold my hand, his girlfriend told me that he hadn't had a bath for nine months. <laughs> I thought it was a joke. I thought it was candid cameras, it's a setup. What the fuck? And when an abused person freezes, when someone's been abused over and over and ag again, um, the reason why I didn't like shake him off me or scream was because I was shocked. Another one at it. <laughs> And it's a natural reaction for someone that's been abused as a child to freeze when someone starts sexual advances. <laughs> it's natural. You free. You don't know what to do. You don't know how to react. My God, I've just met this man and he's trying something on. <laughs> 
Anyway, I'm going to go, guys. It looks like it's a lovely day, but as I've got no, uh, I haven't got a bodyguard. I've got no one to protect me. I, I don't go really much further than my own home or surrounding areas. See you later.